another homeschool review crew video and today I'm going to be reviewing Mastering Essential Math Skills Book 2 Middle Grade Slash High School 20 Minutes a Day to Success. This is the new third edition by Richard W. Fisher and this is by Math Essentials. I got this book for my 8th grader and I'll say right off the bat that I was so happy to get this book. Okay, so let me tell you about it. First of all, there's access to free online video lessons included, and it tells you on the first page how to access those. It says each lesson in this book has a corresponding video lesson taught by America's math teacher, Richard W. Fisher. And so this book really is f only 20 minutes a day, and I, that's what I love about it. And it also has a handy math resource center in the back, which is extremely helpful to my daughter too. So then we have notes to the teacher or parent how to use this book. It's best to use on a daily basis. So you should be using this book every day and you'll soon be seeing growth in your students. And then we have this little step-by-step -step guide here for you to introduce the lessons to your students. So I do suggest going over this entire plan here. And then we have the content. So we start with whole numbers, then we go into fractions, then decimals, then percent, then geometry, integers, and then we have the charts, charts and graphs, word problems, and then review and answers, including the resource center in the back. Okay, and so here is this little handy speed drills on every page. So every single page throughout this book has speed drills at the top and I was so happy for that because that is one thing that my daughter does need to practice and so you have a plus and a times. So what I did is um, after this first day I started going in and filling in uh, for days she hasn't even done yet. That way if I forget then it's you know it's already done i don't have to think about it so that's one little tip i have is just go in and fill that in what you want your child to do now i just went in order you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then or two i should say then two three four five six seven eight nine ten i just kept rotating it like that so we've got speed drills and then we have review exercises there's just a couple of those and then we have some helpful hints and then we've got some sample problems and then ten additional problems for that lesson and then at the bottom there's always a problem solving problem so, so every day my daughter just does one page and then she does it independently and then I check it and if everything's right awesome and if she does have anything wrong then I sit down with her and we work it out on another piece of paper together and so that's how we've been doing this and so it's been really handy to have this book my daughter does have learning disabilities and I love how this starts with addition and subtraction with whole numbers. So we start right at the very beginning. So this reviews all of those skills that they've learned all through elementary and middle school with just your whole number operations and then of course fractions and decimals and then it gets into those more difficult concepts. So Top here it says changing improper fractions to mixed numbers and whole numbers again we have the speed drills and again I've already uh, written in what number she will be adding and multiplying by and then we have um, some review exercises here so we have what fraction of the figure is shaded reduce 6 9th to its lowest terms we have a division problem and a multiplication problem so I like how this keeps spiraling the review questions throughout the book so as they're learning new things they're getting an opportunity to practice it with just a few questions so it's not overwhelming so then we have here helpful hints an improper fraction has a numerator that is greater than or equal to its denominator an improper fraction can be written either as a whole number or as a mixed number a whole number and a fraction example and then it shows in pictures um, these little pictures equals seven halves which is equal to three and one half and they show you the division here and of course the mixed number divide the numerator by the denominator so just this little bit of information to tell the students what they'll be doing here. So then they're gonna do a sample problem, which you would probably want to do with your student. Okay, so try and see if they can do that, then let them do the next 10 problems on their own. If they you know, haven't mastered that yet, then you might wanna review a couple more of them until you think that they've got it to do on their own. And of course, you can also have them watch the video or you as the parent 
can watch the video. If you need help in helping your child, that is a great, great resource. I like how it has this on the side because then that makes it really easy for me to see their um, answers without a jumbled mess over here. My daughter also does her most of her work in a separate math notebook and I do require that she gives that to me with this book. That way, if I come to an answer that is wrong, we can sit down and we can look at her actual work. So in other words, you know how you always said, got told to show your work in school? That's exactly what it is. I want her to show her work so that we can pinpoint what happened and I can make any observations about things that she might be doing over and over incorrectly. And then there's always a problem solving problem at the bottom, which is, you know, a word problem. The format of this book is the same throughout with the speed drills, review exercises, helpful hints, and then kind of the, the main lesson portion, and then the problem solving at the bottom. And again, I just love how the review exercises are constantly spiraling in different things. So as you can see here, we have division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. We have multiplication on this page of fractions, multiplication of fractions, subtraction of fractions, addition of fractions. And then we have this reviewing all fraction operations page. And so this is kind of like, if you have to have some sort of proof um, or progress for your state or your charter or something like that, this page, this review page would be a great thing to add to your portfolio. And it is also great to see Okay, did they master fractions? And if not, what do we need to go back and work on? So then we get into decimals here. And again, it's the same format that we've been going through. Okay, and then we have the reviewing all decimal operations there. We have percents. Oops reviewing percents, then geometry. There's reviewing geometry, and then integers, and reviewing integers, charts and graphs. Notice those have more problems, those are 20, but it's really not more than they're doing on a regular day, it's just they don't have the speed drills review new problems, all that. It's just all review to show that they've mastered that content. Then we've got problem solving, and then review for problem solving, and then we have a final review. Okay, so we've got final review whole numbers, final review fraction and mixed numbers, decimal operations, percents, geometry, integers, charts and graphs, problem solving, then we have our answer key. Now, I haven't pulled this answer key out yet because I wanted it intact for this review, but I actually, now that I'm doing this review, I'm pulling this answer key out because I like to keep answer keys in my teacher book. And I just have a binder that I keep all my answer keys in for all my kids' subjects. So I'm actually going to pull this answer key out now. Then, after the answer key, we do have the glossary and I think that's very helpful in case these students forget some of these math terms or the parents then this is the part I really like we have all these helpful math papers and so we have important symbols we have a multiplication table commonly used prime numbers squares and square roots and fraction slash decimal equivalents so even after you're done with this book again this is another thing I would like to tear out and keep because those are very helpful. I am so happy that we found Mastering Essential Math Skills Book 2 Middle Grade slash High School because it is perfect for my eighth grader. My eighth grader has learning disabilities and she struggles with math. So mastering the essential math skills is exactly what she needs. This book starts right at the beginning with addition and then works their way up. And so it lays a really, really good foundation. And we have switched to making this her math curriculum as of right now. And I plan to have her complete this entire book. So since we're about to finish our school year, 
this will take her into next year for sure. Um, probably the entire first semester of next year. And I am totally fine with that because for me, math is not about where kids should be, but it is about mastering the skills. That's exactly what I want to happen because when you master essential math skills, you are set up to succeed in life and whatever you do. So if you're going to be in business or you're gonna be a stay at home mom, knowing essential math skills is really valuable and you really it's something that everybody needs and so i was really really happy to find this book i am so glad that we got to review it my favorite part i think one of my favorite parts was actually the speed drills at the top because that is still something that my daughter struggles with with her learning disabilities and so the fact that it was just these i've never seen these before these cute little sons <laughs> that's what i think of them as the cute little sons um, was a really quick and easy way to practice the math facts with, um, you know, speed and accuracy. And so I really appreciated that they included, I mean, through the whole book, it doesn't stop. And so it's not like that, oh, at some point you don't need, need to do this anymore. And so I really, really actually appreciated that because a lot of times when we think of older kids, we don't think about reinforcing those math facts. And I love that it has both addition and multiplication and that it literally does take you all the way to your your final review with those, with worth working on those math facts continuously every day because I think that is something that's really a hindrance to kids as they go into higher math and it just slows them down. But I, I honestly have not seen an upper math program that has included that on a regular, consistent, daily basis. And so I was really happy to have that. Another thing that I liked is the short lessons. So my daughter cannot handle a ton of problems on one page. And so I felt like this was enough. This, there was enough problems for me to be able to tell as her mom and teacher if she was grasping the concept truly or not. So you wanna make sure there's enough to, to glean whether or not they're understanding. But, but once they've got it, you don't need you know 50 problems in order to determine that. So I thought there was just enough and I liked the format of it, how it was broken up with the, just the couple, the four review questions and then the two practice questions for the new concept and then the 10 questions and then the problem solving. I thought it was, a perfect amount of work. Also, I like visually how the pages are not cluttered. When you have a kid with learning disabilities, a cluttered page can be very difficult to work with. And so um, this page is actually very organized and compartmentalized, which actually is really, really helpful for my daughter and her learning disabilities. And so having it broken up into sections is actually really great. Also, having this spot here for the answers is another thing that I really appreciate because a lot of times kids with learning disabilities can struggle to transfer information over. And so that's kind of working on another skill too. So it's not just, you know, making it easy for me to check her answers, but it's actually working on another skill for her, which is transferring that information over. And so I really appreciate that. But I am extremely happy with this book. Another thing I wanted to mention is the online videos. Now they are short, you know, usually like five to 10 minutes, somewhere around that range. They're not long at all, but it's just enough instruction that your student can grasp the concept. And the teacher, the instructor on the videos is funny and he encourages the kids to work out the problems with him as he is going in the videos. And I think that's really important that the kids put pencil to paper and work out the problems as they're learning a new concept. And so I, I really like how he encourages them to do that. You can check out those videos for yourself because they are available on the Math Essentials website for free. And you can go check out the videos and see if you like the style and if you think it would work for your family. Go check out the link below and you can see the Math Essentials website that has this book and many others that you can take a look at as well as the online videos that go with this course and the ones that go to other courses too. I am not the only one reviewing this. So I am part of the homeschool review crew and there are many other moms who are reviewing different math essentials books. So maybe this one is not the right level for your students, 
but you're interested in the concept and the layout and the online video access, and maybe that intrigues you, but maybe you need algebra. Click that link below to the Homeschool Review Crew where you can see all of the reviews linked there and you can read them and you can browse the ones that may be most appropriate for your family. I will say that this was truly a godsend, came at the perfect time in our school year where we really just needed something to revitalize math and that is what this has done so far in our homeschool. Thanks so much Math Essentials for sending me this book and thank you to the Homeschool Review crew for having me be a part of your team. I'm so blessed and thrilled to be doing this review and so definitely click the link below to Math Essentials and click the link below to the Homeschool Review crew reviews. All right, so if you have any questions, put them down below and I will definitely answer them if you like. and I will talk with you soon.